Hello and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to take a little look at Ferran OS, the December snapshot. So I haven't had much time to really even sit down on a computer at all these past few days. So I managed to install this late last night and I haven't done anything else. I've made sort of a couple of notes here of what I need to do, sort of install a few applications and stuff. So I thought I'd do that with you and have a little look around the desktop and see how we go. So let's just start from the beginning. So you've got a panel down at the bottom here, an application launcher which you can search at the left and then your pinned applications here and then to the right there's no clock the clock is at the bottom with your notifications which you can also expose there and then you have do not disturb so I've taken do not disturb off for this video and then down at the right here we have hidden icons audio battery networks and the update manager so let's see if we've got any updates Okay, so we've got an update to the Latte configuration, which is the dock they will use for one of their desktop layouts. So yeah, a sort of a selling point of Ferran OS is they have sort of pre-configured desktop layouts. So I'm gonna have a look at those once we've sort of had a look at what programs it comes installed with. So um, I'll switch to a local mirror in a moment. I'll just do that for now. All right, let's just minimize that. Type in our password. Okay. Right, so let's see what it comes installed with out of the box. Let's start with education. So LibreOffice Math, Crito is in graphics, Ocular, PDF, Photo, Simple Scan, LibreOffice Draw. In internet, you get Geary for your email client, Remina for remote desktops, Vivaldi is your web browser. I'm not too familiar with Vivaldi, so I'm going to sort of use it. Um, and if I feel like I need to install um, Firefox or Chromium or something, I will. Um, multimedia, it comes with cheese. Oh, sorry. Multimedia, it comes with cheese and VLC player. Um, so yeah, you had full LibreOffice suite, a calendar there. In the settings here, you get software sources, you get their store, so we'll open that in a moment. Synaptic package manager, so you can pack, uh, manage your packages there as well. Um, and something called theme color, so I guess you can choose the accent color of your theme. Maybe we'll have a look at that anyway. So let's, um, let's start with their store. Um, the first time I opened the store while I was installing it as well, it asked me to make a um, sort of a snapshot of the system like a backup in a time shift which I thought was pretty cool so time shift will take sort of a snapshot of your file system if you like so I thought that was cool that it done that before you know and it even told you sort of to save your system to stop it potentially breaking or something so that's pretty cool that they do that there um, and so, so yeah it's based on Ubuntu 18.04 as well stable release so here's their store um, I don't know if it's got flat pack support or anything let's have a look Let's just type in flat pack. Okay, I think it's got flat packs. Let's see snap. It's not finding anything in snap. So let's just have a look if it's got the um, flat hub repository in here or something. Um, Kden live. Yeah, so it's got um, the flat hub repository out of the box as well in the store there if you wanted to install flat pack applications. Okay, cool. So let's close this and we're going to jump into their global themes now which is where you can select their sort of pre-configured desktop layouts if you like in the global theming. So at the moment we are on Ferran OS, this one here which is just the default one I do believe. So let's test out all of them. So let's go for Cupertino which is sort of the Mac OS kind of look. So let's click apply. Um, there we go. So you get a panel at the top and then you get a nice dock here um, and I think that's going to be latte dock um, and it also changes your application launcher to this which is full screen then you can search so yeah I do believe the dock at the bottom is latte um, yeah not bad so let's see what happens when you do a full screen has it got automatically dodge and everything else like that no so it sort of keeps that so you could set that to auto dodge if you liked or something like that I'm sure you get a global menu as well very nice so it will move all of your um, sort of windows buttons like minimize maximize to the left of the window as well so hopefully if you full screen it it'll move it to the top bar no that's not too bad though okay cool not bad so let's um check out the next one so that was cupertino let's have a look at familiar layout i keep forgetting to click apply Okay, that's kind of the same as what we were basically using, isn't it? Oh, no, so you get the clock now, so you've got the clock where you'd expect it. So this is kind of very Windowsy feeling. And, yeah, so you get kind of tiles there. Wow, they've done quite a good job there. Huh, not bad. Okay, let's keep going. 
Um, what was that? That was familiar, wasn't it? So that's Ferranos. We've checked that one out. Let's just check out Ferranos Dark as well. So that will change the color of the um, windows as well, the application windows. There we go. Very nice. Um, yeah. Not too much to say about that one. It's just the same as the others, but with the dark thing. So we don't need to look at the light. Redmond layout. Okay. Let's have a look at Redmond layout. So again, I think it's going to be the same sort of, you know, with like a windows at the bottom. So yeah, so an old styley window sort of feel. Nice. Let's keep going. The one I want to check out the most is the Ubuntu Unity layout because I'm very fond of Unity. Um, where are we? We are on Redmond. So we let's check out the tablet mode. We don't really have a touch screen or anything, but let's check it out anyway. Um. So what's that done? So here's tablet mode. So that's now okay. I don't think that's changed too much, really, is it? Toggle on board, minimize windows. Okay, right. And let's go to the the one I've been waiting for, the Ubuntu Unity layout. I'm expecting good things. Come on. oh, look at that. I like that. Can we make this a bit smaller though? Um, duh, 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 duh. Dock settings. So I just want to change the width. Let's go into appearance. Width. There we go. Um, let's see what that's like. A bit more. Nice. I like that. Okay, cool. That's what I'm going to leave it at while I'm sort of checking it out. I will probably disable um, desktop icons. So I don't usually use icons. So let's... Ah, then you get the... Uh, minimize and maximize there, but there's a bit of a gap here. I'm going to do a reboot just to see if sort of that will help anything. And maybe we, did, we will just have to have it at the bigger size for it to sort of work. Let's do a reboot anyway, because I want to check how much RAM we're using at boot. And then we can see how quickly it starts up as well from a reboot. Alright, it should capture up with the capture card in just a second. Any second. He says. Now? There we go. Um, I think I've got auto login, so it should go straight to the desktop. There we go. So let's quickly open up. I don't know if I've installed HTOP. No. quickly install htop right I just want to see if full screen now has fixed that no so there's a we'll have to have it at the um, size that it was at default so let's go into the settings of this dock because I will keep it on a bit the Ubuntu layout right so appearance oh god what was it on let's try 10 and then let's get out of that and then let's just maximize that again Let's see if that has any effect there. No. So we're we'll going to have to have it a fair bit bigger. Like 12 or something. See, I really should have remembered what it was on before. But I don't, I don't you know, we don't do things like that. <laughs> okay. 12. Oh my god. Right, 15. 15 is going to be the one, I'm, I'm going to guess. Let's do it. Dock settings. And let's go to. Let's try 15. There we go. So we're back. Right. Um, I mean, that's not too big. I'll probably... Uh, maybe if we done auto-hide as well. And that'll give us a bit more of our screen back. Let's go to dodge maximized. And then let's see how that goes. So now... Can we get a full screen? No. Okay. Think a bit weird about that, right? So let's. Oh God, I can't get the panel back. So let's unmaximize that. So we won't have auto hide for now. Okay, not to worry. Let's go to duh, 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 always visible. Okay, so hopefully now. Cool. Right, I can, I can, I can deal with that. Right, so let's install our programs. That we. Where's the Windows buttons now disappear to? Oh dear. There, there we go. Right, let's install the programs that we're going to want to use. 
Um, Caden Live, Gimp, OBS Studio, TMUX. What else am I going to use for these few days? Caden Live, Gimp, OBS Studio, TMUX, Audacity. Um, I'm going to install Evolution as my email client, so I will uninstall Geary. Evolution. Um, uh, let's get Telegram as well, and then I'll have to download Discord and a few other Debs and install them manually. Okay, cool. Right, let's leave that doing that in the background. And let's change this wallpaper, see what ones it comes with. So, what have we got? We've got the default KDE ones there, We've got some nice fair end ones. Let's go with this for now. I'll I like quite a minimal wallpaper. I've, I've seen this one a few times. Well, um, I'll download a few wallpapers later and go for that. There we go. Look at that. Very nice. Well, for me anyway. Um, the icon theme is quite nice as well. Let's go on to ah, so that changes it to that. Nice. Let's go on to theme, global theme, icons. Let's go on to icons and just see what the icon pack is that they're using. So it's called Inspire. And it's a yeah, it's a nice icon theme. I don't know if it's fair and made or not. Very nice though. Right, how are we getting on over here? Okay, that's still going. I'm going to need to install Steam as well and a few other things. So I made a couple of notes late last night while I was installing of what I'm going to need to do. Uh, I need to check the the um, shortcuts. I do believe in the welcome screen it tells you what the default shortcuts are. So let's go on to default. Settings, maybe. Nope, that's not what we want. Let's go into introductions. What is Ferrin? How did I find the key? I'm sure I read it on here. Getting started, recommendations, getting started. Keyboard shortcuts, here we go. So these are your default shortcuts. Let's just maximize that. So common applications, copy, blah, 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 desktop shortcuts, here we go, so show K runner, OK, Alt and tab, window shortcuts, here we go, switch to the previous on next workspace, control, alt, so, hmm, I'll probably change that to just control and then sort of change a few other things, so tiling is using the windows key, very nice. Spectacles to so take a full screenshot, save it, shift and print screen. Yep, that all seems good stuff to me. What about move a window to the next workspace? No. Okay, we'll have to go into the settings and have a look at that. what that one might be. So close this window with Alt F4. Okay, nice. Show application menu, which is that one, lovely. Show desktop grid, control, alt, up. There you go, and there's your desktop grid. So let's open something else on a different desktop. Um, let's just open up a terminal, and then let's see what our desktop grid looks like now. So that makes it down to the bottom there. So I guess you could move things around, and yeah, very nice. So now, let's go one, two, three. So it's on the fourth one. Nice. Okay, um, I'll probably play around with those keyboard shortcuts. I've had a bit more time with it. It's sort of something a bit more familiar to me. Let's close that. How are we getting on over here? Okay, that's done. So let's open up Caden Live. And let's open up... What else do we want to do? Let's open up OBS as well. And we'll just pin these to our launcher on the left. Right, let's pin these. Pin launcher. Is OBS not opened up? No. Okay, we won't worry about that for now. Um, and did we install GIMP? Yes. Oh, that's an interesting icon for GIMP. I've not seen that. So the GIMP version is 2.10. Very nice. And what is the version of LibreOffice? Let's just jump into a different desktop. Oh, we did open. No, we already opened. Ignore me. Right. Let's open up LibreOffice Writer and see what version we come with here as well. Let's not show tips and let's click OK. So let's go. I, I I love having a global menu. I can't stress enough how much I like a global menu. Okay, about LibreOffice. 
So version 6.3.4.2, I think that's pretty up to date to be fair. So very nice there as well. Okay, let's close that. Let's close that. Right, does it come, what else is it? Let's install a couple of devs as well, then we'll end the video up there. But overall, you know, first impressions, I'm pretty impressed with this. So as I say, I'll play around with Vivaldi and see if I like it. If not, I'll, be, I'll install Firefox or, or something else. So let's just grab Discord for now. Um, where are we? Download for Linux. Um, there is a Tyler's Tech Discord channel as well. I'm going to try and put a bit more time into it. So if you want to join, I'd appreciate. Let's save that. Oh, don't want to do a save as. Oh, that's done it now anyway. Okay. Save. So it opens up your downloads here. So you have like a, let's close the downloads. So you have like, um, I guess you'd call it a side panel. Um, which would have your downloads, your bookmarks and things like that. I quite like that idea, that's not too bad. Um, so let's minimise that while that's downloading. And let's see what RAM we're at at the moment, how much we've sort of managed to push it to. So we're at 1.5. Before I end the video, I will sort of do a reboot and get a fresh reading of that though. Right, so where are we? What was we doing? Let's just close that so we can sort of see what's going on. Right. Oh, I want to set up console as well. Is our deb done? So, it's, yes. So let's open file location, show and file manager. Now, I don't know if they've got a GUI installed for it. If not, we'll just install it in the terminal. Let's have a look. Open with QAPT package installer. Okay, let's have a look. Um, is it opening anything anywhere? No. Ah, here we go. So it looks a bit like GDB. So let's install this package. And then what we'll do is we'll do a reboot, check the RAM, and then we'll just wrap up the video there. But no, I'm very impressed with this so far. It's it's very nice looking. I'm a bit annoyed about this dock thing with the maximize window, so I'll have a look to see if there's any way around that. Okay, done. So what we just close. Has it done? Has it installed? Yes. Right, let's do a reboot. Yep. Starting up and shutting down is what I'd expect as well from an Ubuntu based distribution. No complaints there. So let's go straight into HDOP. Bang. So we are using 840, so not super low, but not groundbreakingly high either. So yeah, that's Fair and OS, the December 2019 snapshot. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.